My hero is a man who at one time had been a racist, at one time had committed burglaries, and at one time had promoted violence. So you may wonder, why is this man my hero? Well today, I'm going to tell you why. Malcolm X was born as Malcolm Little in Nebraska in 1925 during an era of strong racial abuse and when there was segregation between black and white communities. This was a very difficult time for African Americans because they had to endure a lot of racism and had very few opportunities in life. Malcolm's parents were Earl and Louise Little and he had ten siblings. However, when he was six, his father was killed in a racist attack. Soon after, he dropped out of school and fell into a life of crime. In 1945, he was caught committing a series of burglaries and was sentenced to seven years in prison. It was in prison where Malcolm began to read very thoroughly and started to soak up knowledge like a sponge. In prison, he converted to a religion called the Nation of Islam and he started to pray and promised to never engage in destructive activities. Unfortunately, the teaching of that religion also promoted hate mongering towards people and black supremacy. Soon after, Malcolm was considered to be an irresponsible extremist. When he left it, he changed his surname to X, which symbolises his original African family name had been lost over so many years. In the Nation of Islam, he was the principal speaker. Malcolm X spoke about the poor economic and social conditions faced by many African Americans. He said, We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us, which is a metaphor for black Americans being crushed and ignored. He went on to become famous and to have a huge following, but unlike Martin Luther King, he wanted a separate nation for black people only. Eventually, Malcolm X realised that the nation of Islam promoted violence rather than peace. He instead converted to become a Sunni Muslim. He went on a religious pilgrimage to Mecca, uh, where he started to change his beliefs. He went to new countries where he discovered new things. He discovered that black and white could live in perfect harmony. Blue-eyed blondes to black-skinned Africans living in true brotherhood. Malcolm X decided that he was wrong in his past years. On his return home, he started, he started to work with other civil rights leaders to peacefully achieve equal rights. This change in him made some people and while speaking in a rally on February 21st, 1965, he was assassinated by three members of the Nation of Islam. Even though he is dead, his life story still makes a huge impact on not just you, the black people in America, but human rights fighters all over the world. Malcolm X is my hero because he recognised faults in his thinking and he was willing to change. He was brought up amongst crime, but he went on to encourage knowledge and education. He went from hate mongering and being a racist to promoting peace. He went from fighting for a supreme race to fighting for equal rights. Finally, his own words. There is no better than adversity. Every defeat, every heartbreak, every loss, contains its own seed, its own lesson on how to improve your performance next time.